Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. With sophomore Brandon Harris starting at quarterback Saturday, a veteran offensive line is important more than ever, and that's exactly what LSU's got. A true freshman, though, pushing for playing time is Maya Tahima. So, here to talk about him, plus, who will be the kicker is LSU beat writer Jarrett Roser. Jarrett, good to see you. Hey, Rachel, good to see you as well. Well, only three more days, finally, until the lights go down in Death Valley. Uh, I know I'm ready. You must be extremely ready to hit the field. Yeah, I think everyone in Baton Rouge is excited one way or another that uh, actual football games are happening to get, to get out of that fall camp mode. Exactly. We've talked at length about everything from quarterback to running back to secondary. And Jarrett, Maya Tahima, he mm. might get some time at left guard, right? So how would that push Will Clapp? Uh, would he go off to the right side maybe? What are, what are those chances? Maya's come on really strong. They, I mean, they have a good freshman class all over the place on that team right now. And starting camp, the, I guess, the thought was that Will Clapp would be the center, uh, Ethan Posick would be the left guard, and probably Josh Boutte would be the right guard with some other guys certainly very much in the conversation. Uh, Garrett Brumfield uh, won pretty prominently in there. Uh, but as camp progressed, Ethan slid over to center, Will over playing more guard, uh, both still playing both positions. But Maya Tahima, as much as we didn't hear about him compared to other freshmen, the last week or two, we've heard as much about him as maybe any freshman. And he, I mean, he's made a strong push, particularly on that left side of left guard. Uh, I, I think Clapp and Butte probably are the two starters this week, but I wouldn't be surprised if Tahima ends up taking over that left guard spot at some point. I'm sure he'll play Saturday against McNeese State. It'll be interesting to see who ends up garnering the bulk of the snaps once they get deeper into SEC play. Exactly. One, two spots we know they're stable at are left and right tackle with Gerald Hawkins and Vidal Alexander, of course. So that's oh, yeah. excellent right there. So, and the name Tahima, familiar to Tiger <laughs> fans as well for Maya's brother, Sione, who's a defensive end. And he's a sophomore this year, got some action as a true freshman. So um, do you think he might get some action this weekend? Uh, Bauer and Neal obviously going to be the two starters, correct? Yes, uh, Lewis Neal and Tashawn Bauer are listed as the starters for this week. And really, I think we're going to see a lot of guys at a lot of positions. So, I, I mean, I would expect we probably see uh, Sione as well as some of the even younger players, Arden Key, a freshman, um, and some guys at defensive end. Um, that, I mean, they'll, they'll try and look at a variety of guys. They've got some depth, depth in some spots, and then if they can get – the lead that a lot of people think they will be able to potentially get at some point in that game against McNeese State, you might see them get a chance to look at that many more guys as the game progresses. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. We know how much Miles has liked Arden Key's performance in fall camp, so another guy to especially keep an eye on. And finally, Jarrett, we haven't really discussed special teams too much this summer. Uh, at kicker, Colby Delahousie and Trent Domang, uh, does either of them have the edge at this point after both committed some errors last season? Well, they've, they've got both listed as, uh, I guess, as the starters at different positions. Uh, Colby, I think, ends up being the, the place kicker right now. But, the, I mean, the depth chart has Colby Delahousse or Trent Domang at place kicker. At kickoff, they have Trent Domang or Cameron Gamble. Uh, so I don't know that, that that's a spot that's, that's really set right now starting the season. Um, I, I mean, whoever we see... Saturday, it, it may look different in, in a couple weeks, depending on just how those guys uh, progress. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think, I think we'll see both of those guys for sure uh, early on and probably as the season progresses still. Right, exactly. I don't anticipate the McNeese State game coming down to a to a last second field goal or anything like that. So probably we'll, <laughs> you never we'll know, see, though. though. Yeah. They, they scared Nebraska quite a bit. That's, that's exactly. been kind of a topic. Exactly. That was one of the – you always love to see upsets in college football, you know, no matter who it is, really, you know. So I was, I was kind of pulling for the Cowboys to shake things up a little bit there. But, again, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Not sure exactly if they'll be able to hang with the Tigers this weekend, but again, college football, crazy sport. Cannot wait for it to get started. Jared, thanks so much. Enjoy the game. Absolutely, Rachel. Thank you. And thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you on Thursday.